Hey, my name's Peyton, and this is Jared, and this is Kids Pointing, and today we're teaching you how to play... Hi! Hive is a great two-person strategy game that's fun for kids and adults. Each player has 11 insect tiles with five different insects on them that all move in a different way. There's five types of bugs. The queen bee, the ant, the beetle, the spider, and the grasshopper. The goal is to surround the other person's queen bee without letting them surround yours. It doesn't matter which pieces surround the queen, and it can be a mixture of both players' pieces. Yep, if she's surrounded, it's over. Each player picks a color and takes all the pieces of that color and puts them face up in front of them. Pick who goes first. That player puts a piece in the middle of the table, and then the next player puts a piece next to that one. This is the only time you can set a piece on the table touching the other player's color. After this, you have to put your piece touching only your color. Players take turns putting pieces on the table. The queen has to be placed in the first four moves. Once your queen is on the table, you can use your turn to either place a piece that you have left or move a piece that's already on the table. You don't have to have all of your pieces on the table to win. Each bug moves in a different way and it's okay to move a piece that's touching the other player's piece. This is really important. The hive has to stay connected the entire time, so you can't move a piece that disconnects any part of the hive. So if your piece is the only piece connecting the hive, you cannot move it. So Peyton can't move the spider because it would disconnect part of the hive. So here's how moving works. A move is from one flat side of a piece to the other. So this is one move, this is two moves, and this is three moves, and so on. The piece has to be able to slide into and out of the spot to be a legal move. So Peyton's queen bee can't move here because it's blocked in. The queen bee can only move one space per turn. The beetle can also move only one space, but they can move on top of the hive. When the beetle is on top of the hive, the piece under it cannot move. And when anyone is placing a new piece on the board, the space takes the color of the top beetle. And you can stack beetles on beetles, and none of the beetles under the top beetle can move. When placing a beetle for the first time, it follows the normal placing rules. Yeah, a beetle can't start on top of the hive. The grasshopper doesn't go around the hive, it jumps over it. The grasshopper jumps from wherever it is in a straight line to the next unoccupied space. So this grasshopper can move here because it's jumping over all these pieces, but this grasshopper can't go here because it's jumping over an unoccupied space. So the grasshopper is good because it can move into spaces that are in the middle of the hive even if it's surrounded by other pieces. The spider has to move three spaces per turn, no more, no less. It has to move in a direct path and it can't backtrack. So it can't do this. One, two, three. The spider has to stay in direct contact with the hive the entire time, and the rule about sliding in and out of space is still applies. The soldier ant can move from its position to any other position around the hive, and it can move however many spaces it wants as long as it follows all the air rules. A reminder about the restrictions. You can't break the hive for any reason, and your piece has to be able to slide in and out of the space, which means you can't strategically lock another player's piece in if you want to. If you can't move and don't have any more pieces to play, you skip your turn. The game ends immediately after the queen bee is completely surrounded. And remember, it doesn't matter who she's surrounded by, so make sure you don't surround your own queen. If the last move surrounds both queens at the same time, it's a draw. And that's Hive. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. See you later. Bye. What does a spider call an ant? What? Fast food. <laughs> <laughs> what letter can hurt you? Which one? A B. <laughs> what do you call a fly without wings? A walk. What's on the ground but even 100 feet in the air? What? A stampede on its back. <laughs>